morning. Good morning, cheeky monkey. You okay? Good morning, guys. It's a little bit of a rainy, miserable morning in London, but I have a couple of random errands to do. I've got to drop off Leo. I have to go and dye my gray hairs because they are out of control. I mean, I've sprayed the roots right now, but I'm so excited to go and fix my hair. And then I have a meeting with one of my favorite brands, one of my favorite second-hand designer stores in London. I was kind of wondering if there was an umbrella in my car because the rain is so bad. I think I found one and I'm hoping it's not one of those umbrellas that has been turned inside out. Do you know what I mean? I think it isn't because it's my mum's umbrella and you know why I know it's my mum's umbrella? Because she has a little pink ribbon on her umbrella to know which umbrella is hers. We take a moment for that. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Oh, oh. Okay, it's good enough. I jinxed it. It's deflated on my head, but I'm gonna take it anyway. It's a bit desperate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am so excited. What was Ian saying? Greys are yeah. <laughs> greying. We sprayed them, so we need to like unspray okay. them. This L'Oreal stuff is so strong. Oh my god, I'm so excited. My hair is disgusting. Why? <laughs> Goodbye, Greys. Get ready to say goodbye to these greys. Yeah. These guys, they have little Malachi in them. So pretty. Uh -huh. So much, much better. better. Yeah, it looks really good. Looks I great. feel not disgusted anymore. <laughs> I genuinely was repulsed by myself. <laughs> Ooh, sign of the times has a new look. It looks so gorgeous out here. How beautiful. The reason I'm with Sign of the Times today filming is because we're promoting a little competition that they have going on where you could win any of these five bags, including a Chanel Classic flap for one pound. One pound. These are the, I mean, obviously the Chanel Classic flap, but there are four other bags that you could win. You could win this incredible Fendi, which I absolutely love. You could win this Louis Vuitton Neverfull, this little micro saddle bag, all for a pound, by the way, might I add. Or, I love this too, the Louis Vuitton puzzle bag. How amazing would it be to win this for a pound? There are some T's and T's. You have to follow Sign of the Times on Instagram and on TikTok. When you enter, and you enter for a pound, you get a 10 pound voucher. So really, you just made nine pounds. Do you see what I mean? Imagine winning this bag like imagine if you won a classic flap for a pound so i'll leave the details and the links down below I'm around the corner it's on my absolute favorite oh it's pouring with rain smoothie place so let's go quickly hey, how are you i'm good good thanks can i please get a green boost smoothie thank you oh my god my earring just fell off and i caught it thank Goodness, these are like my favorite new earrings. Oh, this is so good. Mm. If you live in London, go to Tees. It's literally amazing. I had the weirdest dream last night. It woke me up in a really weird mood and I just remembered what it was. I need to go home and cut my hair, but it was that I had a dream that they found Madeline McCann and I was involved in the finding of Madeline McCann. I don't even know how I dreamt of Madeline McCann because I wasn't talking about her. I didn't read anything about her recently. It's weird how your subconscious just pops out with random things that are just, just sitting there in the bottom of your brain and it's like, hey, you're gonna dream about Madeline McCann tonight. Just got home to a little Amazon delivery. Let's see what we got. I got some random essentials. Oh, I got some travel bottles. That's good for like shampoo and conditioner and stuff. I got some squeezy ones. I hope they're good because I just have too many, too many things. Ooh, these feel good. Ooh, yeah. I hope they're secure. High hopes for you. Also got my Soap and Glory body scrub, but this is the perfect zen body scrub, which I haven't tried before. It's a warming body scrub. Interesting. I got this fruity body scrub from Soap and Glory. I hate body scrubs in a tub, but the Soap and Glory body scrubs are really good, so I thought I'd try it. I got fabric fixers, but I also got the Philips. It's like the bobble remover thingy, you know what I mean? For your cashmere jumpers, because I have my jumpers upstairs and they need they need serious debobbling. I got the Philips one, because I don't know, I trust Philips, I feel like. They could do a good job, we'll see. I got a little mirror on a stand, because I want to be able to do my makeup in random places, like in the hairdresser today, when I was doing my makeup. Should I go fix my hair right now? Maybe. Guys, my 
greys are no longer grey. I'm so happy. I can't even tell you. But I have something to tell you. That. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're going to say. Don't. Do not. Do not. Sell marijuana to my husband. Do not. Sell marijuana to my husband. You don't know that audio. Sorry. <laughs> you won't get it. I am packing right now. You know me. I love a flight. <laughs> I love a plane. <laughs> I am packing because I'm going on an Easter holiday. You can guess where I'm going. Just gonna, just gonna let you guess. Where I'm going. I am going to drum roll. I'm going to Miami. I'm so excited. I have fallen in love with Miami. I am so over the moon. I've booked tennis. I've booked horse riding. I'm outdoors all day. I'm even looking at the weather and some days it's 27 degrees so I could even go monoski. The world is my oyster. Let me show you the vibes because I have now got the packing down more than I ever have. This is my first ever time using, I'm gonna tell you what mama's got here, packing cubes. I got two packing cube kits. I actually have never understood the point of packing cubes. I'm like, why do people do this? However, now that they're in my suitcase, I'm like, this is beautiful. It's so organized. It's so stunning. Everything is categorized. That's amazing. Let me show you. We got the two cases. Ignore those jeans. They need to go in that packing cube. This suitcase by the way hands down the best suitcase i own Romoa cases they're absolutely incredible the best i really didn't think i needed to buy more suitcases but now that i have these i never need any other suitcase in my life honestly the best suitcase in the world these are the packing cubes i got different sizes different thingies so this is day clothes this is beachwear this is pajamas and like loungy clothes this is underwear and look how beautiful everything looks in my suitcase i mean isn't that amazing okay then we have like 95 makeup bags obviously so that's gonna go in there that one's from clay de that makeup bag but i don't know if you can buy it you know these are my other favorite makeup bags from mayu i need to give them a wash do you think i can put this in the wash i also have this one from mayu which is slightly bigger can you see it's like faded a bit because of my makeupy hands then i've got this which i would highly highly recommend i talk about this bag all the time i'm actually waiting for a lint roller to arrive which i think is right next door but this bag you need one of these in your life if you travel a lot okay because i don't unpack this this bag has everything i need inside it it's got neurofen it's got afterbite it's got tit tape it's got uti thingies nipple covers whatever you're like shit i really need you put in a bag you don't unpack it and you take it with you every single time actually every time i end up adding something to this so i have a mini lint roller coming in here from amazon and i'm gonna add it in because last time i was away i was like shit i really need a lint roller so there you go i got mini scissors in there like you know just stuff that you generally need what an absolute work of art like are you joking this is beautiful you know how addicted i am to my teddy hat i got one in navy and I think it looks so cute. I need to go get my dry cleaning tomorrow for this. I can't believe I go so soon. I literally go in a couple of days. I like packing a few days before I go away because then you don't wake up in the middle of the night going, oh my God, I forgot something. Well, you still do, but just a bit less, you know? You have time to mull over your packing decisions. There's this bag. This one's a bit heavier. In here, in this packing cube, cold clothes basically in case it rains because sometimes it rains in miami but it's the most beautiful rain i can't even tell you it's like light soft rain that's so warm it's so nice even when it's like i've been there when it's like kind of thunderstormy but it's still warm it's the weirdest thing ever i'm bringing three pairs of jeans which might be a bit excessive but you never know what color jeans you're gonna need so it is what it is really i'm gonna bring this little theory jacket with me because honestly you don't need jackets in miami you just need them when you go inside for the aircon if you're not used to aircon like me i sound like i'm a miami pro i suppose i am now i am miami obsessed i'm now starting to make friends in miami because i've been quite a bit so i am going to go and meet up with a couple of my favorite bloggers in miami and i'm so excited oh my gosh if you have any favorite miami bloggers let me know. So these little guys are ready to be conquered by the outside world very soon. And then in here, I'm gonna pack my hand luggage. <gasps> Look what I got for the first time. Embarrassingly, I'm sorry to say. I got compression socks. Falk compression socks for women. They don't feel that tight, but maybe they will. Do compression socks work? Apparently they do. Let's see if it works. I'll let you know. I'm gonna wear them on the plane. I might look not hot, but it is what it is. I need to show you something else. This is a bit manky because it had some 
tea in here. But it was just on my table, so I want to show you. This mug I got, I think it was from sweetthings.com. I ordered it when Duke died, being like, I need anything that can remind me of Duke. In my severe mental state, I literally was just, I wasn't thinking straight. Did, it, did I need this mug? No, but now it's arrived, I absolutely love it. I think if I, it had arrived a few months ago, I would have been really sad and buy it, but now it actually just makes me so happy. It's this little mug, it says Duke on it with clouds. There he is up in the sky. You can pick what you can put on the inside of the mug. So I picked strawberries because I just thought that was really cute and then you send them a picture of your dog and they put like a 3D dog in your mug. How cute is that? So when you drink your tea or coffee, you just like look down in your mug and there is your baby. I think it's so cute and special and I feel like they actually got him like really good. Good morning guys. I'm going to my mum's this morning and you may have seen this if you watch my TikToks is that my mum's favorite fragrance is really really old like 10 years old it's Marc Jacobs Rain and she can't find anything similar she keeps going and smelling fragrances and she really wants something like light she says light fresh like she's just come out of the shower <gasps> there's a crack in my ceiling oh my god oh my god is that bad it looks bad that is not today's problem let me tell you perfumes I thought I would bring some things for her to smell but I think my perfumes are all too much maybe lucky from Dior no too strong nothing I have really smells like I just got out of the shower because that's not really my vibe I like being drenched in fragrance oh I'm gonna spray this today BDK I love this brand what could she like Mandarino de Amalfi Aqua no you know what? I thought I had something that I could show her maybe this well the thought was there but none of my fragrances are gonna work let me show you my outfit of the day I have this lily silk jumper on little cable knit my favorite belt I hope these are coming back in stock soon and then I have my girlfriend jeans which are um, some of the best jeans ever I'll link them down below and then on my ears I have a little Raimi earring we still have our 50% off sale going it's gonna go till the end of this month you can go and buy my little ear climber if you want then I've got these from Misoma and um, no eyeliner on what do we think? I like no eyeliner sometimes, especially when I'm tired, weirdly. I feel like it opens my eyes a bit more. Now you can see my hair from my roots yesterday. Whenever I get a root tint, my hair goes slightly darker. And I have to say, I don't think I'm gonna go blonder again because I really feel so much more sophisticated with darker hair. Even like, your hair isn't dark. Look! at my hair when it was blonde. I'm gonna put in a picture. I was blonde and now I'm brunette. So yes, it is dark. You just have seen the gradual change so you don't know that I'm dark, but I'm literally brunette now and I was blonde, okay? You've been eating so much since you've come back. Lunch really? and dinner. Oh, no, good dinner. for Leah. Well, when Leah was with me, that little ratty dog only wanted takeaway. <laughs> only wanted whatever I was eating. I ordered Persian takeaway, he ate the whole thing. Gave him his food? No. Made chicken? Ate the whole thing. Gave him his food? No. He's only like, He's only interested if I want it. And when I gave him the leftover takeaway the next day, not interested. Yeah, he left it. It. <laughs> it, was, it was old. It was already old. He is so snooty. <laughs> he is your dog, let me tell you. I wanted to eat. Oh my gosh, look at these walnuts. Wow, they're so perfect. What else you got in here that's interesting? <gasps> you brought back this lint from St. Mark's. Wow. You know, I have to say, your cupboard isn't that organized. Literally bunged everything in. Yes, I can see. Look but at all the stuff from Hanselman. Yeah, what did you bring back? Tons. Tons! By the way, I was just eating these, which are pistachios, salted, roasted, are oh, so good. You get some pistachios. Sorry, I'm making yeah. you hungry. I keep talking about food. This is random dates. Like oh, yeah, but, dates. yeah, no, like that, that, that's, that's when we took it away with us. Oh, what a beautiful box. <gasps> wow. Mm. Okay. Oh, stunning. So you got an assorted box. Yes. Oh my god, this one is like a little house. That's so cute. Very cute little chocks. I won't steal any of your imported chocolate. But I will steal some of your imported dates. Um, did you genuinely bring these dates back from Saudi? So the ones from Saudi finished. And yeah. We found a shop in North London somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that sells them. What do you use specific dates? They're called Ajwa dates. Ajwa dates. Oh my god, they're so good. They're so good. They look like prunes. Yeah. And they're yeah, not they're as small. sweet. They're not, they're not sweet. that sweet. They're yeah. not as sweet as the Majul dates. Yeah, Majul dates are a bit sweet. I can only really eat like half sometimes. Yeah. This is really where good. you can have five of those. Um, a really good date. 
They're just so cute and small. Oh, your hair looks really nice, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. But I'm glad you like my roots because it the grey really jeans. Nice. They've done it very well. Are honestly. I feel sorry for you. That's all I can say. Yeah, you have. I have more grey than my mum, so I have my dad's jeans. I feel sorry. For you me. should feel sorry for me because it is a high maintenance thing. I don't like them. I know people say you should embrace the greys, but. I think you're too early. They make to me feel a bit grace. gross. I don't know. I just don't like them. You know why? Because they like grow out and they're like sparse, uh, but like loads. I honestly have more greys than Mama Rachel. Like, Mama Rachel has no greys. Like, where are those jeans for me? Yeah, I know. I really do. I feel so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so that's your cupboard. What else can I rate? Got any clothes? No. Oh, certainly not. Guys, I just got in. Look how much I'm carrying in one hand, okay? I have my Birkin. Got that. This is girl hands for you. I've got, oh, that's heavy. Four things of dry cleaning. I have my car keys, phone, Stanley. All in one hand. A folded ironed shirt and a bag of stuff in one hand. Okay, let me put all this down. This is the other thing I have to show you. I leave my mum's house. So don't forget what I packed for you. What did she pack for me? What did she pack for me? Let me tell you. She packed me ground cumin. She packed me baharat seasoning. She packed me sumac. As if I couldn't go and get these by myself or in Ziploc, by the way. This is for the to be recipe that she sent me. Tomato puree, because I, I can't go out and get tomato puree from it. And like, where would I get tomato puree? That's impossible to find. She has to give it to me. And date paste. Okay, the date paste, fine. That she gets from the Persian shops, but everything else I probably could have got for myself. And she's like, this is exactly what you need. You must take it with you to make it. So now I gotta make the recipe. She knows that if I take that, I have committed because when else am I gonna use any of those things? So I have committed and I'm gonna try and make that recipe. Not right now, because I am going away. So I don't really know what she looks like doing but anyway i will at some point make that recipe right next i need to go get some alterations i go to two different dry cleaners for two different things so let's go to the other one now <laughs> So I bought this vintage Dolce dress from The Real Real. I've always wanted one of those really classic old vintage Dolce dresses. And I kind of wanted to alter it and make it my own, which I think is exactly what I've done. I don't have like a little waist, but this is giving me a little, a little waist, a little Kim K waist. I altered it to be mini. It was kind of midi. And I love a square neckline. Something about a square neckline on me. I feel like that's one of my absolute favorite shapes. It's just so simple, but so perfect at the same time. Guys, sorry if you can hear that car alarm going off outside i've done my nails i went back to red i toy between neutral and red neutral and red there is no in between i have two buttons i don't love this lip color on me i'm not gonna lie what do you think i feel like it's I feel like it's aging me is it mm, i don't know about browns i have something to show you you may have seen it you may have seen it if you got be oh, if you got beady eyes you might have seen it but i've just been i've just been staring at it and i was like you know what i haven't shown my youtube family that i went to I went somewhere. Guess where I went? I went to Chanel. I went to Chanel. Okay. I wanted these shoes. I'm going to put a picture of them on the screen. I could not find them anywhere. But I want to, okay, I'll tell you the problem with these shoes. If you are buying these shoes, every single shoe is different. So if you want a particular color in your shoe pattern, every one is different because of the way the cloth is cut. Now, I didn't want a shoe that was blue. I wanted a shoe that was pink. So it was very hard for me to find my size with pink. And most of them were blue. And then you also have yellow in the print. You also have gray in the print. So it really depends on your outfits anyway i gave up on the hunt for these shoes because it was just too hard and every store had one shoe like one shoe in my size so i had to get my size from the store with the cloth of that particular fabric i went to two different chanel's and then i was like i could go to the other three chanel's in london but i got distracted instead and decided to upsell myself which is exactly what i did I firstly got my first ever piece of chanel ready to wear i don't own any chanel ready to wear not pre-loved not post-loved not anything and i got my first ever piece of Chanel ready to wear i don't know if i'll ever actually wear this piece because it's just so precious oh my god I mean, I should bring it with me to Miami, shouldn't I? Because it's literally the coolest top in the whole entire Effie world. Literally black and white with a little CC logo on it. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Then 
there was one of this bag. Now, I really am quite particular with what Chanel bags I buy. I like to check the resale value of them. I like to make sure that I'm putting my money in a bag that holds its value. I know with Hermes, I don't even really need to think about it because worst case, even with the Picatin, for example, that I bought, I can get my money back from that bag, even if I don't make money on the bag. And I rarely sell my bags and bags are so pricey these days when you're spending that much on a bag, you really want to know you're putting your money in a good bag. Place. I always check the resale price of bags before I buy them. So, especially when they're above a certain amount. This little Chanel bag that I bought is on the resale market for double already. And it's really impossible to get hold of. It's really, really hard. And my sales associate held on for me because she knew that I would absolutely love it. And she was right. And she was like, I held it for you just in case you wanted to try it on. And I was like, can I buy it? She's a really gorgeous sales associate. She doesn't like push things onto you. She's like, just in case, because I thought it was very you. And I was like, this bag is actually me. Like it is actually me in a bag. It's a little tweed pink Chanel. It's a micro. It's the size of my hand, literally. We can fit all of nothing in here, I'm sure. Just some lip gloss and credit cards. And it's got the most gorgeous matte gold chain. So you can wear her crossbody. Oh my gosh, she is so perfect. It's the Chanel Kelly bag. I'm in love with this bag, like the Chanel Kelly shape. I just absolutely love. I feel like we were really missing something cute and girly shape was from Chanel. And I really didn't like the 19. I didn't like the 22. I didn't really like the Gabrielle. I did not like the boy. Like I was really missing like a good new shape from Chanel. So the Kelly was absolutely so welcome as a new style from Chanel. I love how thin the chain is as well. Like, oh, it's just gorgeous. Chanel tweeds are my absolute favorite Chanel bags because I just think they do tweed like nobody else. So I wanted to show you my two latest Chanel purchases, which are very, very special to me and I'm going to treasure them. I'm definitely going to take this little beauty to Miami with me and see what I can fit in her when I actually wear her. Okay, let's go change my lipstick because this is not cute. I did not like that lipstick at all. By the way, this little jumper that I have on is a little free people cardigan. Isn't it great sweet? This is the Patrick Tar lip liner in uh, She's Humble which is gorgeous because it's really, really nude, like really nude. And then over the top of that, I'm gonna put a little Clarins. This is the Natural Lip Perfector. I love these. I mean, these are an OG favorite and they've got a really nice applicator and they just give you that gloss and shine that you need and want and they smell so vanilla-y and gorgeous. I feel like that looks so much better, no? <laughs> the other thing that's new that I have on my face is actually the Makeup Forever pencil, the Hailey Bieber pencil. Have you guys seen this? It is the shade Limitless Brown and it's so great at getting in the waterline. It makes me want every single color of this eyeliner. It's a beautiful, beautiful eyeliner. I've never really tried Makeup Forever eyeliner. It's also almost got like a plum sort of color to it and it's oh my gosh it's beautiful i mix that with this eyeshadow which is an amazing single eyeshadow from clay de po let me check the color name it's called toasty sand they're honestly like cream eyeshadows and it has like flecks of almost like gold in it it's so beautiful i'm literally obsessed with this oh my gosh so amazing guys i'm in bed baking in my fake tan and i've just been on tiktok for probably probably longer than i care to admit anyway i got something today i need to show you i don't know why these are by my bed because i just picked them up from my office by the way these are my fake tan pajamas <laughs> i like literally sleep in these so that my fake tan like soaks up you know i'm actually trying a new self tan which is not a good idea right before i go to miami but anyway you know how matches is closing r.i.p real honestly a huge r.i.p i finally got these earrings on matches and i didn't think they were gonna come because i ordered them like the day before they announced they were going into an administration but they came and these are the most perfect hoop anytime you've seen my sister wear a hoop she's wearing these these are the sophie Boutaille hoops they're actually quite light can you hear that i thought they'd be a little bit heavier but they're just so perfect they're the perfect size and the perfect gold perfect roundness i'm so excited to wear them so i literally pick them up right before i leave so that i can take them with me to miami tomorrow i was actually just watching kensington's video she's one of my favorite girls to follow she was saying how she's newly single and traveling so much and i was like hard relate 
I really related to this how when she's in a relationship she's way more of a homebody and I was like same like I definitely have more like energy when I'm single in terms of like I want to be like out and about and like I don't really say no to as many things what I said this year I was going to say yes to more stuff and I definitely definitely have done that already but yeah I definitely am more grounded when I'm in a relationship and just kind of want to like be with my partner and be in one place but right now I'm kind of just like YOLO YOLO loads of my travel is for work though like literally 90% of my travel is for work just depends what I say yes to and what I choose to do it is now one in the effy morning I need to go to bed because my flight is also in the effy morning so I'm gonna have all of no sleep but then maybe if I sleep on the plane the plane journey will go faster <gasps> that's a good plan I will see you next week with another vlog I think next week is the beginning of April how is that happening oh my god love you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next Sunday 9 30 a.m with another video bye